Hey folks, I'm here. So as you know, I love BitTensor. I've got a hedge fund that is all in on BitTensor and uh, especially the, the subnets within BitTensor. And one of my favorites that has done incredibly well is called Ridges AI. Um, it's one that I started buying in May. Uh, it's already done a 30-ish X or really 20X for, for the main bulk of the funds. And it is a about to enter the software engineering market, which is a $400 billion market. It has two main players, uh, Anthropix, Claude, Code, and uh, Cursor. Um, Code, Claude Code does about 400 million in annual recurring revenue, Cursor in excess of half a billion a year. Um, so there is plenty of pie to steal. Um, and what happens is that Anthropic that owns Claude Code, they spent over $100 million in creating this software coding agent or bot that can get roughly around 74% accuracy on the SWE bench. Now the SWE bench is a software engineering benchmark. It consists of all sorts of different uh, tests like bug fixes, feature requests, um, even creating websites, all that sort of stuff. Um, and so what happened is that a very clever 21 year old who called Shaquille, who was on the Twitter transition team under Elon um, figured, oh, well, that's him. <laughs> um, he figured out that he could effectively spill open the guts of Anthropic and Cursor um, and basically take all the power away from their magic black boxes. So with Cursor or Code, they effectively have a magic black box that humans can use to help do bug fixes and stuff like that. Well, he thought he could do some distributed permissionless coll global collaborative incentivization to basically disintermediate the, the two main big dogs in this entity. So what, do, what does this mean? It means that he create, effectively created a subnet in BitTensor, which hosted an open competition. So anyone around the world, any coder or, um, yeah, any coder or software engineer around the world could basically create an agent uh, that attacks the sweep bench, and it's winner takes all. So the top miner, they're called miners, the top miner gets all of the rewards. And that's roughly around $70,000 per day, uh, which is absolutely incredible. And they only started this competition in mid-July. So bear in mind that Anthropic, uh, or Claude Code and Cursor are doing around 74, 75% accuracy on the sweep bench. Uh, Ridges in, literally a couple of months has got to 67.3%, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, and you can see the, the, the first big jump and then all of the little other jumps. And so every 12 hours, effectively, the, there's uh, a, a new sort of uh, re-evaluation and the top miner gets paid, that's it. Um, and the beautiful part of this openness, this, this collaborative thing is that whoever's the top miner can see their code is shared with everyone. In fact, you can look at the code of every bot or, a, a, or agent that's submitted. And so, yeah, it's literally a case. The reason there's been lots of sort of smaller jumps is because everyone's been looking at the top miner, looking at the code, doing some tweaks, redeploying it, winning. Um, and so I was wondering what the, you know, what, what does a world-class um, software engineer earn in some of the big companies and really it's between 380k to 1.2 million so let's just use um, 500k as a sort of mid mark well if you or you know someone that is shit hot at uh, en software engineering all in all you need to do is basically be the top miner on ridges for seven days of the year <laughs> and uh, and then you would have matched your salary um, or you can earn a lot more and some of the, the, the miners on ridges are earning a lot more. Um, and then the other day they, or oh, literally two days ago, they came up with this announcement. Now, long, long story short, what they basically uh, have said that every single task that's on the SWE bench, there is already a submitted agent that has already uh, nailed that specific task. And so where most uh, big models uh, you know, like an Anthropic and Cursor, they, they try and um, create a much bigger beast of a model that can do everything. So much more of a, a generalized approach. Whereas what Ridges have identified is that there is already an agent that has been submitted that can nail every single thing. So a, a really quick win here is that it, Ridges 
is effectively going to become the the football quarterback of co or, or, of software agents. So give it under a month, and Ridges will have the best um, coding assistant on the planet. And I think what it will most likely do is be sort of a, a relatively small model. It gets in a, a request, a feature request or a bug request or whatever, and then it will know which one of the sort of sub agents that that is perfect for that role. And therefore, it's just going to leapfrog over Anthropic and Cursor. So it's very interesting times. Um, not only that, because they're using inference and compute from another subnet within BitTensor, um, their, their costs to do this are incredibly low so for example shoots which is um, at, the, at the moment the biggest subnet within BitTensor it was an inference and compute um, subnet they're powering ridges and it's cost them $42,000 uh, of inference over the last sort of six weeks or so and that would have normally have cost over two million dollars put it this way with cursor for every dollar of revenue they make they're burning five dollars in, in infra costs. So I think the, 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 the main competitors are somewhat sort of bottlenecked and, ch you know, yeah, they, they, have, they have a choke point, which is they cannot scale fast because it's, they're just burning money, whereas Ridges doesn't have this issue. There's a product launch in September, Kel Surprise. I mean, if you're going to simply le leapfrog uh, that 74, 75% uh, level, um, then you need to productize it. And bear in mind, there is no product at the moment. They just want to basically get something which is world leading, and then they can productize it and monetize it and then go to market. And they have a two phase go to market approach. First of all, enhance human outputs. So create a tool which makes all coders 10x or 100x better. And as it gets better, as, as the product matures, eventually remove all humans from the loop where you know, an average Joe like me with no coding abilities could basically use Ridges and go, hey, build me a website or do blah, blah, blah. Uh, so that's quite interesting. And I, I put out a tweet the other day um, looking at all the subnets in in, in uh, BitTensor and that BitTensor already has the world's best in so many different AI silos. And literally within a month, the world's best agentic coder or software engineer will be Ridges. Um, so if you go to CoinGecko, uh, in fact, I'll, I've got some screens open over here. So if you look at CoinGecko, um, you can find Ridges and the market cap, not that it, you can't really compare market cap with um, BitTensor subnets because it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit more complex to, to get into the subnets. Um, but I mean, it's only a 60-ish million dollar market cap. If we look at the price, it's been an absolutely beautiful chart. Um, and you can see the actual chart uh, on Tau stats. If you then go to Ridges, uh, and you can sort of open it up over here. Let's look at it on the four hour chart. Um, yeah, so that's on the log. This is on the linear, and you can see it, it looks, yeah, it is beautiful. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you want to check them out, go to ridges.ai. Uh, there is a link somewhere in the the description of this video you can um, click on the, the explore button and you can see where they're at um, and this is something I, I check pretty much every day uh, I find it absolutely fascinating so yeah um, check them out cheerio